man, man, man just did it and lean. Fat ball spent on the re up, LV hat on my D skirt jeans. Hit, hit, hit him on ITV, switch it, put him on BBC. I'm in a bando counting up bees, or I'm in a bando counting up bees. Man just did it and lean. With the lead up to the holiday period, the government has again announced new restrictions by introducing a three tier alert system. With news spreading across the land, the public are making the best of it while they can. After all, who knows what's going to happen next? However, not everyone has been so jolly about this. Here we have Temi, a cautious specimen in a land of creatures seemingly less aware of the present dangers. From her outer lair, one might think she is fully prepared, but in fact, she has forgotten to wear her mask properly. Contrary to popular opinion, gloves are not essential, but could lead to greater spread of the virus. Temi seems to be taking no chances, especially since one in three people with coronavirus display no symptoms. Oh! Contact! This is make or break now. Such viruses can spread through clothing, so she must act expeditiously or face grave danger. Things may have settled for now, but she must stay alert, for danger is always around the corner. <coughs> A standoff. Does she confront her for her lack of face covering, or flee and secure her safety? <coughs> Escape can be seen as a defeat by many, but in this instance, it was the wisest choice. She say what a mess. I just spoke to my friend. I made her see them again. I don't know how long for, hey. but it seems like this is dangerous. Don't look at me like that. What time do you call this? Sorry. How about then? Okay. How you doing? Yeah, I'm all right. But what are you wearing? What? The gloves, yes. the visor, the jacket. Darling, we're in a pandemic. We have to come prepared. Ugh. Lord, have mercy. All right. Well, that's yours. Thank you. All right, give me a hug. Ah. Excuse me, we're doing elbows. Seriously. We are doing elbows. Elbows. Yes. Mm. Oh, thank you. Oh, man, you know, at the supermarket, I couldn't believe this lady. She was coughing up her whole lungs behind me. Like, no masks, no nothing, but... I didn't even say anything, because honestly, I don't have time for people and their foolishness when it comes to this virus, I swear, yeah. man. Gosh, me, I don't even blame you. Me, I would have cut as well. Are you sure this is soy milk? You know I can't have dairy? You can't have dairy? I can't have dairy. Yeah, yeah, it's vegan or whatever, you know, save the planet and that. Unbeknown to Temi, her so-called friend Jasmine has mistakenly provided her with dairy. For a lactose intolerant species, this will have devastating consequences. Mm. Oh, someone's ringing my phone. Ah! Mm -mm. Oh my gosh. Mm -mm. Who's got you stressing like this? Remember yeah, Jerome, the guy I've been chatting to from House Party? Mm. He said he's going to call me sometime this week, but I ain't looking ready for a FaceTime right now. You know what? I got this. Uh, first of all, take off all of that and make yourself look presentable. Oh, okay, then. Oh, okay, then. Hi, Jerome. Oh, yeah, no, um, you know, she's, she's just, like, prepping our picnic right now, so she won't be a minute. Alright, cool, I'll just give her a call back later. Wait, 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 quick question. Where are you from? South, Mark. I'm Nigerian. Thames! You at least Nigerians, what have you learned? Uh, don't phone. break your heart give me my phone. phone. Hmm. <laughs> Sorry about that, she gets a bit excited sometimes. <laughs> no, it's cool, man, she seems like a vibe. Yeah, she's definitely something. Anyways, how you doing? Yeah, no, I'm good, I'm good. My bad, I didn't know you were going to be out, but, um... Yeah, I just wanted to know what you're doing later. Um, nothing much. Just probably going to be with Jasmine still. Why, what's up? Well, obviously seeing how lockdown's basically over now. Uh, actually, it's not over yet. Okay, true, but my boy Romeo, he's throwing a party tonight. Uh, I think you should come. I don't know, I don't think partying with a bunch of people is a good idea right now. No, it's not even going to be like that. It's like 10 to 15 people max. Honestly, like, you can bring your friend as well, uh... It's gonna be a vibe, trust me. 
I don't know. Right, so I need to head off to the barbers now, but yeah, just message me later if you want to roll through. Okay, bye. <laughs> it's kind of cute, you know? It's dangerous. It's always the cute ones, I'm telling you. No way am I going. Well, especially if Auntie Rona roaming around out here, it must be crazy, like. Things have been tough, okay? Let's call her for one night. And I'll be there, you know, in case he's... What? 510. With the virus spreading, the government has prohibited all large gatherings from taking place. Even football. With the crowds missing the stage, and I'm always stuck in temptation. From the name I know is Satan, need to step back from this world a bit. Analyze and formulate a plan that I stay working with instead of working early shifts, killing ourselves to earn a quid. Metamorphosis. Once a caterpillar, now a butterfly. Such a significant moment in one's life is typically supported by grand celebrations. However, with such prohibitions, young Alex here has been forced into a late graduation and in a more domestic setting. Yo! Oh, for crying out loud, Jerome, why are you here? <laughs> what are you saying, G? Cuz, why are you wearing a gown? I'm in the middle of my graduation ceremony. I ain't got time for this. Yo! What? What are you doing here? I came to see you, innit? You get me? Lockdown rules have lifted, you get me, fam, so we are going to party tonight. It's been eased, not lifted, so I'm not going anywhere. Now please move from my door before my mum calls the police on you. You know she don't play with this virus thing. Come on, bro, what are you saying, bro? Come on, fam, we ain't partied in time, fam. You get me, fam? It's going to be Romeo's thing. You know Romeo always throws the waviest parties. You should have said it's Romeo's party. Yeah, I'll be there. Fam, I can't lie. I thought it was going to take a bit more convincing. No, still. he told me the pattern. Alright, cool story. Just make sure you're on time in it because he said something about that as okay, well. Okay, yeah. I right, can't say no cool. more. Right. Yeah, actually, just one more thing as well. Oh, what? Just make sure you change out of them guards oh, as bro. well, yeah? <laughs> God, say no more, G fam. I'm a shouty. I'll be on my way. I'm not down to wait. Pull up on me. With changes to the lockdown measures, inhabitants can feel the warmth of each other and embrace once again. Love is truly in the air, as well as deadly viruses. For some, virtual dates have been enough to keep the spark alive. But deep down, they are just dying for a good old Netflix and cheese. Well, you never finished what you were saying about Tammy. Well, she didn't want to stay out and then she didn't want to come back to mine, so I just went home. And then I cleaned the kitchen and the bathroom. Then I did the laundry. And then I folded the laundry. Oh, um, sounds chilled out. It wasn't chilled out, Caleb. You know, this restriction on being able to spend time with you is really getting to me. Yeah, well, we're spending time together now. Yeah, this doesn't count. I mean, are you taking the piss? Why don't you want to see me? It's not like that. I do want to see you, but things are just... Difficult right now. The whole world's on fire and you're more concerned about seeing me. The whole world's on fire and I'd like to see my boyfriend. How stupid of me. Caleb, I'm off to work now. I've left food in the Bye, oven. Bye, Jasmine. Bye, auntie. All right, mum. Take care. I didn't realise your mum was working again. Yeah, she, um, she went back to her old job. Yeah, everything's fine. She's just picking up some shifts. In these times? She just got tired of staying at home. What's going on? What do you mean? Your mum's not picking up shifts because she's bored. <laughs> what aren't you telling me? Nothing. It's not nothing! Just let it go. No, clearly something's going on with you. But I'm obviously not important enough to know. Oh, don't be like that. Then tell me, why the hell you've been acting so- and I lost my job! Oh. 
I was made redundant a few months ago. My mum had to go back to work just so we can pick up the rent. Why didn't you tell me? Because I'm embarrassed. I can barely afford to travel. This is my first job since graduating and I've already gone and messed it up. My mum shouldn't have to be working again. I'm failing her. It's not your fault. Look, these are some crazy times that we're living in and everything that's going on in your life, so many others are going through it as well. No one could have predicted this. There's no need to be embarrassed. I feel like an idiot, I'm sorry. No, it's fine, it's all right. Look, how about I come round and then you can show me how much you really miss me. As mating season approaches, a lioness is left wondering whether she'll catch her prey. Hello, hello, my people. Yes, today is the big day. Are we ready to get litty in the next 15 minutes? Ah, oh, I don't even know time is moving that fast today, you know? Cool, say no more. Ooh. Hey, it's been a minute, bro. Well, man graduated and went corporate on us now, yeah? Mm. All right, cool, say no more. Tell your girl this ain't no quarantine radio thing, so she ain't got nothing to worry about, big man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, no. Um, anyway, people, don't forget to bring your own bottle. And don't be late, man. I flipping hate latecomers. As we can observe, this particular female species has shed her outer protective shield in the hope of attracting her mate, but risking infection. Her earlier encounter with dairy is now proving problematic. Oh, my stomach. Did not just for time not to be giving me dairy? <sighs> okay, all right, easy, all right. I can't, I can't. Hey. Hey. Oh, hugs, yeah? Yeah, so. Sure. Okay. Honestly, I'm sorry I'm late. It's fine. You look nice, though. Thank you. Yeah, yeah you look <laughs> I like your coat, it's nice. Thank you, thank you. So you're six foot two, yeah? Okay. Six foot three. Okay, you're six foot three. <laughs> I told you I wasn't a catfish. Okay. Okay, cool, we just need to... What? What's that smell? What smell? You don't smell that? No, it's fine, it's probably the bins or something. Now South is always smelling it. I'm sorry, what? What? <laughs> don't diss my hands. These times, all your favourite people are from South London. Uh, who are my favourite people from South? Crepton Corden. Okay. Dave. Okay. Michael Dapper. Okay. Me. You. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're one of my favourite people, yeah? Yeah. Okay, whatever, come, let's go. Gotta get rid of these keys. Oh, please, I ain't had breakfast. Bruh. Alright, five minutes to go, people. Then I'm releasing the location. Honestly, the barber messed up my hairline, so I can't <laughs> even show you. Let's <laughs> get for cheating on your barber, anyways. Hey, um, how far are we? Because I feel a bit. Yeah, it should be. Where's that smell coming from again? I, I don't know, but I'm sure if we just hurry, it will go. Like, which way are we going? Alright, cool, it's this way. I swear Romeo's is about here. Then. Actually, no, it's this way. Now time for the finishing touches, man. Fresh. Aye. Oh. Here we go, people. Five. Nice, no, this way, 100%. Four. Oh. Three. Two. You all right? One. So <laughs> Let's get this party oh, started, my people. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> what, you not thought I was inviting people around my yard with all this madness going on? Nah, no illegal raves here, G. I've got a family to keep safe, man. A simple fact <laughs> Romeo failed to mention to some partygoers, his lockdown party will commence via Zoom. Right, Alex, right, down that, bruv. 
down it, down it, down it, down it, down it, down it. That's me. You too vibing, yeah? What, moving in your bubble and that? Trapped in a trap mood, you know. Alright, let's go. It's vibing. It's vibing. I'm vibing. You heard correct. Not in his house, not in person, but virtually. As if 2020 couldn't get any more curious. They don't fold when times got hard. Could have been part of the team. Them man talk like they're bad when they get some tucked, they be giving out blue clues. Roll just jerks his plug, forming an art, and I be doing bandulu. And you Romeo? I'm gonna be real G, you boy it still, bro. I brought Temmy out with me today still. I was pretty sure we were supposed to be having a vibe. Bro, she's out here throwing up. I'm dealing with this stuff, bro. Like, let me explain, yeah? I... Bro, you don't do that, man. We're supposed to be boys. Of course we're still boys, man. We're supposed to be friends, bro. You're supposed to tell me these things, bro. I'm sure I told you it was a Zoom thing anyway. Didn't I put it in the group? Man got ready. I got ready, bro. I dressed up. I look good, bro. How you gonna do? Hey, look, I'll send a pizza to your yard or something to make it up to you, big man. If we weren't friends, bro. I, I'm sorry, man. Now everything lit. Your white pipe won't let me breathe. Now man, throw dirt on my name. I just told man, let me be. Gotta put in that work. Money on my mind won't let me sleep.